Animals are a very diverse group of organisms. They vary from a huge well to an insect. But what do all these animals have in common? Welcome to Moo Math and Science and Animal Classification. Let's first begin with what all animals do have in common. First, they're all multicellular organisms made from eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are cells that have a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Next, they are all consumers, or heterotrophs, which means that they must eat other organisms in order to obtain energy. They all use the protein collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body, and it's found in bones, muscles, skin, and tendons. It is the substance that holds the body together. Animals are diploid, meaning each cell has a homologous pair of chromosomes. This means that they have two sets of chromosomes, one from mom and another from dad. And animals develop from an embryo. Scientists have named and described over 1.5 million species of animals. There are more than 35 animal phylum, but more than 95% of all animals can be found in the following nine phyla. The first eight phyla contain invertebrates, which are animals that do not develop a backbone from a notochord. Up first, phylum periphera, or the sponges. Next is phylum annelida. These are segmented worms like earthworms and leeches. Next, we have phylum nematoda, and these are the roundworms. Next, phylum platyhelminths, and these are flatworms. Examples include planaria and tapeworms. Mollusks or mollusca, and these include snails, slugs, squids, and other relatives. Next, we have the arthropods, or arthropoda. This is the largest animal phylum, and all arthropods contain segmented appendages and an exoskeleton. Next, we have the echinoderms, and these include sea stars and sea urchins. And then finally, of the invertebrates is nadaria, which are known for stinging cells. Examples include the jellyfish and sea anemones. Now we have the chordates, which make up only around 5% of all animals. All chordates have a notochord and a hollow nerve cord. And higher chordates, like vertebrates, contain a backbone. A subphylum of chordates include the vertebrates. There are five main classes of vertebrates, and you may be familiar with them. First, we have fish, then amphibians, then reptiles, birds, and mammals. So there we go, the nine main phylum of animals. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.